Hello everybody, you are watching Digital Creations and in this Premiere Pro tutorial I will show you how to create zoom effect in Premiere Pro CC 2020. So let's get started. In the first part, I'm going to show you how to create a simple zoom effect in Premiere Pro CC 2020 by using scale parameters. And in the second part, we will create a smooth zoom transition by using Premiere Pro video effects. So stay tuned till the end. Now guys, I'm going to start with this footage and uh, go over the effects control on the top left side of workspace. Here you will see that uh, different uh, video effects like motion, opacity and time mapping here. So you can open effects control to go to windows and here effects control you can open from it here as well. And uh, here under the motion you can see I'm just going to toggle this uh, select this drizzle triangle and here you can uh, see different parameters uh, like uh, position scale rotation so simply first we are going to create a simple zoom in transition uh, zoom in effect in this uh, video footage so here uh, first of all uh, just move the playhead and set the point where you want to start uh, zoom effect then uh, select uh, the scale and uh, position parameters here and enable key keyframes so uh, i'm just going to select this stopwatch icon to set the keyframe toggle animation is on and uh, move the playhead for about few seconds uh, here and uh, increase just scale up this clip and uh, set the position And here you, you can see that uh, the and keyframe is generated here. So let's uh, render it. Now guys, this is the simple uh, zoom in. Uh, let's show you full and select the out point and the in point. And now guys, uh, this is the simple zoom in effect uh, using a linear motion. So now just go, I'm going to open this loop back and play it again okay now guys uh i'm going to uh convert this keyframes to select this keyframe and right click here and time interpolation and select easy out and here select this to more x to create a little bit uh, acceleration on this animation so easy in and then i'm just going to shrink this render out to show you the final result you can see this uh, guys simple zoom in uh, animation inside of Prima Pro a very easy way and here you can see that in the graph editor you can further uh, set this okay now guys uh, let's add uh, some sound zoom in sound here and then let's show you this okay now guys uh, I'm going to uh, create uh, another uh, this is the zoom in uh, and uh, I'm just going to add some more key keyframes to zoom out this uh, to original state and just here in the effects control just add a keyframe for the same position and move a playhead a few frames and uh, just reset the original position and scale uh, and just convert this time interpolation to easy if and now render it again Now guys this is the simple zoom in and zoom out animation by using motion uh, scale and scale uh, position parameters so I'm, I'm going to add this uh, soundtrack and let's render it in. Now guys, this is very simple animation 
uh, to zoom in and zoom out uh, by using uh, scale and position uh, keyframes by using motion effects. Now guys, let's create a smooth zoom in transition between these two clips. So for this, I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. So just go to project panel and here right click this uh, little icon and select the adjustment layer. And uh, now just drag and drop uh, this adjustment layer at the top uh, above the, the second clip. Let me zoom out and little bit shorten this clip to create uh, the motion tile effect on this adjustment layer and uh, the transform effect and let's uh, duplicate this layer so press alt and just move this a little bit In this adjustment layer, we are just go to effects and here we find uh, video effect uh, replicate. Here under the stylize and uh, here I just drag and drop uh, in this second layer to create uh, this motion tile. And uh, here in the effects control panel, there uh, is uh, this uh, under this uh, video effect set count parameter to three to create a motion dial effect in this and after this uh, i'm just going to search uh, another video effect here so mirror so select the mirror under the distort uh, so i'm just going to drag and drop uh, four times but uh, i will show you how to change uh, the uh, reflection angle first to 90 degree and uh, here I'm just going to change the X oh, Y axis to uh, to show you these junctions uh, to uh, you to remove this uh, line so set it like this and another just drag and drop second time and here I just draw the minus 90 reflection angle above side and just join these edges again drop drag and drop this mirror effect and now reflection angle is 180 degree and just move this x-axis and join this edges okay now last time mirror effect drag and drop and uh, reflection angle is 360 and just join this to create this uh, motion dial effect and that is very easy in Adobe After Effects, but in uh, Premiere Pro, we can use this type of technique. So here uh, we have almost done to create. Uh, now the second step is, so we just search transform effect under the distort and drag and drop into the first, uh, this adjustment layer. And here you can see that we just going to select this and, and add a keyframe for scale here, scale parameter. So just at the center, uh, you know, this uh, between the two the clips. Uh, so just move uh, three frames, one, two, three, and set the scale to uh, initially 100 and now up, uh, move uh, your playhead at the center of this uh, between two clips and now move one three keyframe one two three now here just uh, set the value 
scale up to 300. Okay, now almost done. And here uh, in the effects control panel, you see uh, this composition shutter angle. Just un uncheck this and I'm, I'm going to increase the shutter angle to 360 degree. So, and uh, just select this keyframe and convert to continuous bezier. Now, I'm going to render the select in. Okay, now guys, set the out point here and uh, I'm going to render this. Okay, now guys, uh, it's fully rendered and uh, let me show you in full screen. This is the fast. zoom in transition between the two, these two clips and very easy way and uh, let's play in a big screen you can uh, change the position of this keyframe to make uh, animation faster or slower now here uh, you can save uh, this preset uh, for your future use so here uh, select this uh, adjustment layer to create a motion tile so uh, just select this and uh, in the effects control uh, just uh, press command here and to select this effects and right click to save a preset like uh, create a motion tiles let's say motion tile base so in future use you can find it here under the presets so simply you drag and drop and use this and also uh, let's export this transform effect so save as a preset to say zoom in select anchor and point and here you will find in the presets for your future use i hope you like this video don't forget to like subscribe and share my video make sure to check other contents on my channel uh, for adobe applications like photoshop illustrator uh, adobe dimension and more premiere pro tutorials so keep watching digital creations